Hello everybody! Hello, my name is Paul. Welcome one and all. So, so far King's Quest uh, Chapter 4 has been pretty much one puzzle right after the other, which has been pretty well fragmenting what re existing relationship I had with Alexander, my son, who I have not seen since he was a swaddling babe. So, Graham really has to come to terms with who his son actually is and try not to force him into this cookie-cutter role model that he wants him to be. Uh, it, it's actually kind of a lesson for us all, but it did get us out of this stupid puzzle. I'm really glad we didn't have to solve this one. Alexander, where'd you go, buddy? Oh, cut to modern day. Should we save a plate for Dad? Aww. I brought him food earlier. He refused to eat. He's too preoccupied with this next big adventure he's cooking up in his head. Would that be death? You know, that's just like Dad. Once adventure is on his mind, he can't focus on anything else. He's never lost his drive. You have to give him that. Well, I've never regretted retiring my questing boots. It allowed me to devote my full attention to raising my daughter. Isn't that right, my little cuddlebug? <laughs> Dad, stop. You're embarrassing me. Oh, come now, Alexander. We were raised going on adventures, and we turned out just fine. Well, you know what I mean. Oh, look at Gart. He's been questing since he could crawl, and shaping up to be quite the handsome prince, if I do say so myself. Well, yeah. thanks for saying so, Mother. Oh, I do hope you decide to take Gwendolyn on her own adventure soon. She's got it in her blood. You can't keep her safe forever. <laughs> She can go out questing for danger when she's older. We like to do things a little differently in the Green Isles. You can say that again. Not enough addendums and far too few decrees. <clears throat> Pardon the interruption, milady. I see. Thank you. God, the chambermaid found this crumbled up in your waste bin. I am assuming it fell. Yes, um, thank the shining stars they found it. I was looking all over for that. It must have blown Poor Gart. He really does hate Graham so much. I'll deliver it right after supper. No need. I'll deliver it myself in the morning. Gart! You'll deliver it yourself, Captions? It's in your room. It's so breezy in there. Poor Gart. Mm -hmm. He really does hate being looked down upon. I think he just Can needs a little bit of love. Piece? And he would be an amazing king. Gart, did you not hear Gwendolyn? Oh, apologies. I thought that was a nint mouse squeaking in the courtyard. What did you say? <clears throat> I asked you to please pass Gart? the... Please pass the peas to your cousin. The little highness can reach them herself. I'm not here to serve her. You would be honored to serve... Children, that's enough. Oh, she's got the magic in her blood. There you go, dear. Or was that so hard? Now, can we just finish up dinner in peace? Grandpa would like to speak with everyone after dinner. Ugh. I bet you what's in that letter is pretty much telling him that Gart is going to be the successor to the throne. Oh, do tell us, Gart. What qualities do you possess that would make for a good king? Well, for one, I've been raised in this castle and trained to properly take over the kingdom. Unlike some other children who have only had adventures in their imagination. Where's this animosity coming Boys, from? Boys! I don't like where this conversation is going. Daventry is our home, Alexander. You chose to run away with a princess and rule over her kingdom. Who else besides Gart would make a good king? <laughs> I don't I know. sense a little bit of competition. Kyle? Oh, good, they're alive. Really? Uncle, you're acting like a buffoon. Well, if this is how children raised by royalty treat their elders, then I'm proud that Gwendolyn and I grew up outside these castle walls. What? So now your family is too good for Daventry? It would be an honor for me to be king. But for you, it's just a burden? Knock it off, Gart! No! You're just a little girl! Nothing more than a dreamer! If you didn't encourage Grandfather's ramblings, he might actually notice that I am the only man for the job. Oh, he went there. Sit down. You're embarrassing the family. Ah! You will never be half the king Grandpa is. And he would never, ever leave the kingdom to such a spoiled, thoughtless child. I'm a 
may be a little girl, but you're the one that needs to grow up. You set the peas on fire. Uh, Kyle. Distress. Distress. Yeah, this happens a lot, I'm guessing. I think it would be best to cool off in your rooms. Everybody. No one is allowed to see Grandpa until you can all get along. Uh, well, don't take too long. I don't think he's really got too much time left to go. At least one more chapter is worth. 48677. I have a feeling that's... Grandpa? That's Gart's future in there. Can I come in? Gwendolyn, you've disobeyed your grandma by sneaking in here. I was told everyone was sentenced to their chambers. Do you know what that means? That I should go yes, back you're to the my best room, granddaughter ever. Take this time to reflect in my journal. No, it means you should pull up a chair and I can finish this story without any more interruptions. I think I crossed the line tonight. Well, I'm sure you did. Good thing this story is all about crossing lines. I have a feeling this story is going to have a moral that will reflect on everything that's happening in present day, just like it always does. All right, really curious about these ice statues and why they look different. Like there's the, the male looking statues, which are very despondent and crawling. And then these, which have sort of the position of power. Do you think the beard is too much? My wife says it itches her, but I think it's dignified. I can't believe you actually reversed this sound. I cannot wait to add captions to this video and see what they're actually saying. Okay, uh, can I go up there? Yep, it's not too slippery. Oh, uh, don't pay those statues any mind. They're just all previous adventurers who are not nearly as clever as you. Yeah, we assume that one. Hello, now what are these things? Charles, we know this is you. Who sculpted those guards? I couldn't shake the feeling that they seem like first drafts, failed attempts at some larger art project. They're very friendly, though. Oh, I can't get over there to the really despondent ones. Okay, well, two doors I can pass through. There was a lever downstairs. Um, the fact that there are all these bodies around, which means these doors are probably ice trapped. Now, what have we here? Is this a lever? It looks kind of leverish, or it looks like something goes over top of it, like a ring or something. But, alright, well let's try the doors, I guess. Nothing ventured, nothing gained. Alright, not dead. That's good. You'll find this puzzle is easier without all that extra weight, Mr. Majesty. Uh, yeah, that pretty much means this is unsolvable without your son. What's happening? So, it looks like this is a literal reflection of what's happening down here. So I need to make a straight line between... Oh, just anything that connects these would be good, I guess. Alright, let's go. Alright, let me test the mechanics of this puzzle. So I tried putting a straight line here, just thinking you'd walk straight across it, but the fact that these look purple, which I think means they need the red and the blue in order to connect them. So this should move this wall back up. And between the reflection and the original should make a single line here. Hmm. Wait a second. I think I'm seeing it. Let me put this over here. I have an idea. Got it. Okay. So I need to find a pattern that I can make on both the bottom and top so that they show up as the right color. Got it. Okay. So I was kind of barking up the wrong tree, but I think I got this figured out in an abstract sense. I still have to find the pattern. There we go. With you in a minute. Took a second to kind of wrap your brain around it, but once you got it, you got it. Well, hello there. So much easier alone. 
Yeah, you should hate to say it. What did I just pick up? Uh, lower half of the a badger statue? Alright, well, on to the podium you go. Okay, together we will assemble the mystical frozen badger. Don't worry, Mr. Majesty, he'll learn his lesson. Such a shame how parents treat their kids these days. Alright, I hear ya, I hear ya. Alright, puzzle time. All right, I, I think that's the solution. That, that wasn't too hard at all. All right, sliding puzzles. Just get everything out of the way. I thought you push them with your hands, but apparently not. Just move them around. Off we go. Another puzzle down. Badger head. It looks nothing like a badger. A lynx, maybe. Perhaps a bobcat. Never a badger. And up you go. You look great. I wish I could just snap and bring you to the end of the labyrinth, but alas, I lack opposable thumbs. I'm afraid you'll just have to solve this on your own. I don't mean to salt a wound, but are you even sure that he's your son? It's not like you're cut from the same cloth. How do you know this Alexander? not an imposter. Alright, the Sphinx knows too much, and I think this puzzle is actually impossible without Alexander's help. Because this is the same room we were in before. I almost wished I had Alexander's fire to solve this one. But I would get through it without any dark magic. I don't think that's actually possible. Oh god, okay, this one took a while. Eesh. Do not like that one. It was possible, but I'm not convinced it was exactly the same as the one that we tried together, but it was doable. No magic needed to solve this. Graham, you're looking, you're feeling a little bitter. Alright, let's go. Oh god. But how did you resolve your fight? I need some tips to get Gart to be nicer to me. Are you sure something else isn't bothering him? Have you tried asking him? Or are you assuming it has to do with you? Well, he's cordial to everyone else. I might dig a little deeper into that. Alright, so there's two levels to this one. Oh, okay, so I'm bouncing myself around. Interesting. Okay, so I can change my trajectory and my entry point. Got it. All right. Well, this guy's doing nothing, so let's fix him. Oh, can I not turn these things? Oh, I can go down and change things around. All right, got it. Looks like I can go down further still. Okay, this one might be a little easier with... Two people. Oh god. Really? He's looking up like I can see and cross index things, but no. Can I There we go. Alright, I can't move him around this way. Alright, I was gonna move the ones I think need moving. In the annals of all annoying, time-killing puzzles, I think this would probably be number one. Okay, I think we've got this. This took longer than I'd like to admit. Let's give it a try. Please, oh god, I've been doing this forever. Did that work? Oh, thank god. This is great and all, but are you sure Gart shouldn't be listening to this? He's the one who started it all. He needs to apologize. It's not always about who's right and who started it, Gwendolyn. Have you tried approaching Gart calmly? You might be surprised what you find. Doing a little bit of conflict management myself, that actually works. Ooh, look at all the toys. Welcome to the Riddle Room. Oh, no. This is my favorite puzzle. Probably because I helped design it. Great. <laughs> <clears throat> what am I? 
I have a head but no arms to flail. I have no legs yet I have a tail. Hmm. Oh, so I gotta find what she wants. A head but a head but no arms. A body but a tail. Sounds like a snake to me. Where is a snake? Is this a snake over here? Uh no, but there is a goat. Mr. Fancy Cakes? No, you have arms. No, it's not a snake. Let's take a look at what we have. Puzzle, a wrench, a fork, goat, and an acorn. Well, I'd love to give you the answer, but I'm a stickler for the rules. I don't need your help. Feather, horseshoe, sock, crystal ball, frying pan, head and a tail, no. Definitely not a cabbage. It would make sense if it was the book. Oh, heads or tails, the coin, derp. Don't give that to me. Set it on the altar and still need more time. It's not like your family is waiting or anything. Um, think you kind of interrupted yourself there somehow, but okay, altar in the room, got it. Looks like this puzzle needs some alteration. Did that, uh, guess I got more to do? There's probably more than one puzzle. Or maybe I just opened the door. It's on the altar. I'm going to open the door and I'm going to die. Oh. But it won't be that easy. I've got another riddle for you in here. Proceed. What am I? Every morning a noggin I shed. And every evening I regain my head. A noggin I shed and then I regain a head. Uh, it sounds like the lettuce maybe is what my brain goes to or not the cabbage. Not many people make it out of this room. Correction. Not many people make it out of this room. Alive. So every evening it sheds a head but every morning I grow it back but that doesn't make sense unless they're talking about like like the seasons kinda I'm going for the cabbage King Graham always bets on cabbage uh, no that wasn't the cabbage no really good choice I was alone I was cold I was so isolated <laughs> <laughs> Christopher Lloyd uh, it's a bit more of a stretch, but it could mean the pillow or the crown. I grow it back again in the evening. Yeah, that's a pillow. I got it. All right. But well, you guys can see where I was coming from with the cabbage thing, right? You got, okay, just make sure we're on the same page here, pillow. All right. One more through this Alice in Wonderland door. I feel good about this one. Yeah. Two down, but we're just getting started. A word. Back here, please. I can hear no you just fine from here. What am I? I come in different colors. I come in different shapes. Some parts of me are round. Some parts of me are straight. Our picture can be clear, but we love to obfuscate. And obfuscate our picture. Well, I, the crystal ball makes sense. Lots of different shapes and sizes. Some parts of me are straight. It doesn't make sense for the crystal ball. Crystal... Uh. Always bet on cabbage, right? No. Some parts of me are round, some are straight, different colors and sizes. Kind of leads towards the candle. And... Mr. Majesty, if you speed it up, you can make it to the leaderboard. You still qualify for second to last place. Thanks. You're not helping. I, I don't know this one. I'm going to guess the candle, but I'm also guessing I'm going to be wrong. Grandpa... Do you think I'm ready for my first adventure? Of course, dear. But uh, <laughs> not without your father's permission, of course. Your awful, overbearing father, yes. Who, by the way, is still lost in here somewhere. I wonder how he's oh, doing. Oh dear, I don't mean to be a downer, but your current puzzle time has just disqualified you from second to last place. Oh, God. It's not going to be the candle. I don't feel good about my decision, but I'm going to try it anyway. No. Oh. Shame. Wrong answers cost you your life around here. 
I didn't make the rules. I just follow them. Not like I had anywhere to be. I'll just chill. Oh. I should have taken some more time to look around. It's a puzzle piece, of course. Lots of different colors and shapes. Picture should be clear, but it loves to obfuscate. Got it. All right, I feel like a dope. All right, next time, Paul, let's, let's, let's look at what you're working with, and you'll be fine. Bravissimo. But the show is hardly over. Well, it can't last too much longer. These doors are getting smaller. What am I? I'm fit for a king and taste very sweet. Thick or thin, served for breakfast, Graham's favorite treat. This seems a little too obvious. Okay, so pancakes are my favorite morning treat, but there's cakes here. But that just seems too obvious. Um, you do know they eventually turn off the lights, right? Am I missing something? Fit for a king and taste very sweet. Thick or thin, Graham's favorite treat. Uh, I'm just going to take a brief nap. You keep doing you. It can't be bread. Fit for a king. Uh. You know what? What happens if I take the pan and the cake and put it on there? Will it let me do this? Because that's pretty much the answer. I only and needed to carry one item at a time, so I put one back. Oh, uh, okay. Well, I, maybe I can come back back for it. It seems kind of arbitrary to let me carry only one object at a time, unless I'm dead wrong, which is probably a choice. Oh, shut up. Alright, you go there, cake. I'm gonna go get the pan, and then we'll make some nice cake pans. Choco chip cake pans. Alright, I can put two things down, so obviously Graham loves pancakes. Oh, sorry, I couldn't sleep. Let this work. Yes, I am brilliant. One final riddle, if you would. Go ahead. What am I? I am higher than the shining stars and greater than the land or sea. What's the one thing that's worth breaking the bonds of family? Uh, well, the answer is nothing. Nothing is worth breaking the bonds of family over. So I have a feeling if I actually have nothing on the altar at this point, then... It will let me pass. Let's hope the philosophical route works. I mm, am brilliant. I have to admit I'm surprised you got that one right. You should really practice what that riddle teaches. Perhaps the Sphinx was right. I needed to rethink this puzzle of parenting. Excellent work, Mr. Majesty. You are a natural. Wonderful. Someone had removed all the pieces from the board. I'd have to puzzle out the path. Lucky for me, it appeared all the pieces were already set in their proper rotation. Um, how am I supposed to lift these? Are you kidding me? I can't... What? Uh... No, I mean, this one... Can I... How do I move them? I can't? Sphinx, help me out with this one. I want to put this down. I don't see any control mechanism. Sphinxy! A pile of old Cosmolotion bottles have been tossed out with some familiar junk. Pay no attention to that. Those are just more decorative props. The magic portrait? What was that doing here? You'll put two and two together, bro. You know where you are. You know who this is. Oh, does that mean something that belongs uh, to the Hobblepots? I can't remember how that worked. I think it had to be a picture, didn't it? No, I can't do that. Oh, I see. I don't have to move the pieces at all, but I can use them as a reference to see where I need to go. Okay, now I go up this way. All right, let me see here. All right, that was a little bit complica more complicated than I thought it would be because they're not actually in the 100% correct orientation, but close. Congratulations, Graham. You have won the labyrinth. You may now claim your prizes inside. Is my prize the end of the puzzles? Because that would be grand. 
Rosella! Balanice! Team Sovereign, assemble! You can come out now! They're probably just gonna be all at the top, like having tea with Nice, is my guess. Oh, what's this? I'm not a fan of abstract art. It's a kidney. What does it mean? I'm pretty sure I could sculpt that. Hmm, alright, we're starting to see a natural progression here. Getting better and better. This also harkens back to the failed art projects we met downstairs. You talked backwards. V? I hope uh, I made it how in time. How did Rosella? Belenice? Where are you? How'd you put that together? You're fine. It's not... Whoop-up. Not a person. You're all right. Ooh, these are the gears of the tower. I know exactly what tower this is now. I don't know how I didn't put that together before. All right, come on. This is just busy work. Upsy daisy. Hey, there she is. She's carving out her sister. Still don't know where my son and daughter are, though, but this doesn't bode well for me. It's getting closer, but the nose still isn't right. He's like, um... Hello there. Welcome to my gallery. Am I intruding? Niece? Yes, we know exactly who you are. Yes, niece. You're mistaken. My name is Isabella. I'm not sure I agree. Well, I sign all my work that way. So you will address me as such. Noted. And you are... I love your dress. Graham. King Graham. Uh, the Brave. Don't you remember? No. Oh, no. Sorry. It doesn't ring a bell. But... But... We had an adventure in Avalon. We tumbled down that giant hill? Oh, the squirrels. You remember the squirrels, right? I rescued you from that... This... Tower? I assure you that wasn't me. And I recommend dropping the subject immediately. My apologies. It's been a while since I've had a visitor. Did you enjoy my art? I did. I always have. And the puzzles? Where did you learn to make such intricate puzzles? Oh, a friend taught me. Ages ago. I see. And what brings you to my ice palace? I was told that if I made it to the center of the labyrinth, my family would be here waiting for me. Do you know where they are? Oh, the Sphinx must be playing a game with you. I love my best friend, but she can be quite silly. What? Did you think those puzzles were designed to keep people out of this tower? <laughs> I created this labyrinth to keep people in. I don't like it when my friends run away. I had no idea you were holed up here. We would have come here sooner Oh, it's quite all right. The Sphinx was there for me when all my other friends moved on. She gave me this crown and dubbed me queen. Now I rule this tower. Where did you take Rosella and Valenice? Valenice? Now that's a name that sounds familiar. She's here, you say? No, 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 that, that, that's not what well, I... I'm sorry, I haven't seen them. You'll have to file a complaint with the Sphinx. Oh, I've got a few choice words for that Sphinx. She's back this way, right? Where are you going? I told you no one ever leaves, right? <gasps> Friends, escort our new addition to the carving room. Let me go! I demand you release me! You have no power here, Graham. Some vacation this turned out to be. Oh, man. I hope that's not permanent. I can see just as well as I always could, just so you know. Alright, so this is her carving room. Interesting. Alright, so this is where uh, Anna... Uh, oh, pardon me, Isabella uh, does all of her work. Uh, can't take a look at it, but she does have a table with a hammer. That'll be useful. This carving room held some pretty dark secrets. You're not gonna tell us, though, Graham? 
Can I get the hammer at least? Come on. Let me have some fun. I didn't want to know where all those ice blocks came from. Uh, probably from all the ice is my guess. Uh, maybe water that got really cold? Most likely. All right, I'm making no progress. If I squinted, it almost looked like an avocado. No. No, it doesn't. I mean, nice callback, but no. I could be remembering this wrong, but I couldn't see down here from the top level. Another ice palace curiosity, I guess. I was cold, upset, and didn't see any way forward. Then things got worse. Oh, then things get worse. Excellent work. You, my friend, are a natural. Where's my father? Oh, Mr. Majesty, you've beat him here by a mile. He's trapped in a puzzle and can't figure out the solution. Alexander! Stop! It's a trap! Alexander! 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 Oh. That's great work, Gwydion. Tell me you can't hear that. Thanks. It's actually been a while since I've been called that. I kind of miss it. That name does suit you. Now, just a few more puzzles and you will solve the labyrinth. Your family is anxiously waiting for you at the top of that tower. No. So, it sounds like the Sphinx is in charge of bringing her friends, making sure they're worthy, and then just keeping them there forever. That should do it. Okay. That was actually impressive. Oh, Gwydion, I just wish your father could be here to celebrate your win. Pity that he only appreciates talents that are exactly like his own. I, however, love watching your clever magic and encourage you to use it on this last puzzle. Well, if he uses his magic here, that means he falls down here with me and he's trapped. It is exactly true, Graham. Sorry. How can I prove it to you? There was no way I was going to lose my son again. I was wrong for expecting him to carry out my legacy. I needed to show him that I loved him for who he is and who he wanted to become. If only I could just snap and share the unconditional love burning inside my heart. Oh, are you going to do it? Perhaps I could. With a frozen hand? I needed to snap like I never snapped before. I needed to get fired up. Come on, fireball. There you go. You can do it. Dad? Was that you? The flames had cleared up the ice spell. But that was hardly on my mind at that moment. Son, I love you. Just the way you are. Oh. I wouldn't make any sudden moves if I were you. I could say the same for you. <laughs> Do you think your tiny human arrow will pierce my skin? Oh, it's not your hide I'm aiming for. Where the well eye? Then, take your move. All right, and wait. Uh. Oh, go ahead. <laughs> I was aiming for your eye. <laughs> Morons! Tiny arrows will never defeat the divine intellect of the Sphinx. I thought you were a man of the mind, Graham. Stop toying with the Sphinx. Where are Rosella and Valenice? Trust me, the games are done and my playtime is over. The Ice Queen will deal with your family now. Thanks for the entertainment. Did you find anything particularly strange about that overgrown kitty? Uh, what part, You mean besides Graham? the fact that it talks, thinks itself pretty clever, and is incredibly manipulative? Mm-hmm. Manny! What? I think that furball was sipping from this pile of Cosmolotion. It would appear so. 
It would be irresponsible for us to leave this pile of potions here like this. But I think you need to set it ablaze. Are you sure? You keep doing you, Alexander. You had to make this cheesy. You have to find the girls before the Ice Queen does. Find who? Uh... Thank the Shining Stars you're alive. I could say the same for you. <laughs> the Sphinx told us that you were both trapped at the top of that tower. Oh, did he now? Don't you mean she? Nope. The Sphinx is Manny. <sighs> Figures. And the Ice Queen. Yes, I suspected as much. All the sculptures here have the essence of Nice. I knew for certain when I found this. <laughs> Where were you hiding that? We need to get out of here before we all get iced. I am not leaving without Nice. The only way out is back through the labyrinth. <laughs> Let's solve it together this time. Oh, please tell me we just flash forward in time for a little bit. On the way out of that labyrinth, we decided to pair up uh. based on who would best be able to solve each room. Well, this looks impossible and dangerous. I hope we make it out alive. Nonsense. You're just saying that because no one ever has. Only I could see both of the lines. After being tormented about Alexander for 18 years, it was about time I gave my daughter the full attention she deserved. All right, so Rosella finally gets some time to shine. Thank goodness. All right, I have no idea how much is actually left in this chapter. It seems like we're moving into the finale. So let's go ahead and call it here. The next part might be a short one, or I might even just squeeze it into the end of this one. I don't even know. But until then, wait, 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 before we even end it, it's like, what is this whole business with Manny being the Sphinx? That doesn't really make any sense. Like, Manny... Well, I guess anything's possible in this land of whimsy and magic. It is a fantasy game, after all. But, so, the, the Sphinx was like a cat or something who found the Cosmolotion, which I guess is what Manny used to turn himself into an old man. Uh, or is he, like, reborn as man? I don't know what's going on. This doesn't really make too, too much sense, but I'm hoping things become evident as we move forward. And speaking of move forward, I will see you next time. So, as always, good night, jelly beans. Good night.